Well, happy day. Out here, throwing stuff in the burn barrel, but got something to do a little different today. It's already, um, it's already about two o'clock. I'm headed to pick up a boat, a small, like, one of those, like, sea do jet boats that, um, uh, you know, they're real small, like, wait. And they, I guess they kind of advertise them as like wakeboard boats, but they're real small jet boats. I have one of those to move. And a uh, good customer of mine, he was like, oh, I could go get it, but I'm a little, well, he's a little older. He's probably in his 70s, maybe 80s. Uh, he's like, I'm a little worried if I get up there and, you know, have an issue on the road. It's a little harder for me to do anything and he was like would you be willing to do that i said yeah it's just a you know it's just a single axle trailer and it's a small small boat and they probably weigh i don't know what three thousand pounds maybe even less than that i was like i'd rather me be on the road and be able to fix something or deal with it than you know than you be and stuff so he's like you know just tell me what i owe you and uh if we have you know we have any issues um I'll take care of you, and I know he will, so, uh, the guy started to scare him, he's like, oh, you know, when he first, when he bought the, when he, before he paid the guy, he's like, oh, yeah, you know, it's got a good trailer, you know, the trailer really hasn't been used, you know, it's been in the water at this marina, and then, you know, after he sells it, or after the guy buys it, he's like, oh, you know, it really hasn't been on the road that much in its time, I'm a little nervous, so, this and that, and I'm like, great so oh well we'll see what happens i got a transport tag with me and uh we'll go down and see if we can't get that picked up and uh i think it goes about 150 miles and it picks up about 45 minutes from my house that's pretty easy down in a marina there on the chesapeake but i'm gonna stop and get my mail here and uh, hopefully there's some couple million dollars of checks in the mailbox but I don't think I can get that lucky, man. Things have just been coming in waves of spending money. First, I was like, you know, I got got some money saved up. I'm gonna, we're gonna put a fence in at the house. Put a fence in at the house. I uh, paid for that cash because we got a discount for paying in cash. And then, like a couple days later, our one dog needs surgery, so I got that vet bill. And then uh, I got to start the oven yesterday to make the kids lunch and the oven doesn't work. So, of course, instead of just getting one appliance, now we've got to get all new appliances so they all match. So, that's my three. So, if things come in threes, I can get a, a little bit of a break now. Well, we made it down to Solomon's Island. Probably going to have to get this guy to move his truck. But that's all the bigger of a boat that we are picking up. Well just stopping to pull over got a light that's not working now after going down the road Ugh. made it a little this thing has a new axle in it uh, the bearings feel all right but I got a light that's not working because I got the four ways on right now they have these bearing buddies in it it like keeps the water out and has a grease circle on it. These tires are new. They're a little dry rotted because they really haven't been. This thing's just sat in the sun. But the nice part about this cover is it has these ratchet straps built into it. So you can actually go down the road with the cover on. So other than that light, everything else seems to be going pretty good. I'm at a wide spot on the side of the road. They, uh, yeah, they're good. I don't know if the uh, lights have anything to do with the extension on the extension on the, but we'll check them out. But I'm going to put this away because I'm going to get my test light. Uh, look. Jiggled it, now it's working. Well, we're gonna keep rolling then.
Now, I really didn't want to jinx myself, uh, but those tires were from 2010 on this boat trailer. We're about a mile from my customer's house. We brought it 160 miles, and if uh, we weren't going, if we were going farther than that, and it wasn't this customer, we would have been doing something different. This guy, he would have done anything and everything for me if I had a problem, and that's part of the reason why he hired me to do it. You know, like I said earlier, he said he would do it himself, but he just knew if something were to happen on the road, I would be able to get it fixed. And a trailer of that size, you can pretty much get everything you need at Tractor Supply. So I passed about 10 of them on the way here. So we're getting ready to pull into his house. He lives actually right on the James River. So lucky him. Well, 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 what do we have here? More trucks. I just had to put the matching white ones together. But I don't, we're coming up on 4th of July. Probably gonna need some help to get these moved because I, uh, I didn't realize 4th of July is Thursday, then my son's birthday is on Monday, and then I have to be home on Wednesday. So I'm just really getting these out of here, so try to find some help, you know, end of this week, early next week, because I, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get them done. And this is at eight total to move, so. I'm gonna call Adam and see if he wants to take two. I know he wanted to take a couple. When they ship these things, they have like like white stickers on them, like on the bumpers to protect them, and you always get the glue. It looks like there's scratches and stuff, but it's just dirt stuck in the glue. Uh, I'm gonna see if Adam wants to run two. I was hoping we could run four together, but I don't think that's gonna happen. I just I didn't realize the dates of everything I needed to be home until this morning, so. Ah, oh well, it is what it is. Work comes and goes, at least I can uh, get my customer taken care of here. And just like that, we are back for another round. And uh, gonna figure out when we're gonna get these delivered. I think they're in a hurry to have these down for the 4th of July weekend because they're gonna be running a sale, sales because of the 4th of July. And, these are, these got some options to them. They got amp steps on these two, factory wheels and tires. Um, one of them, is it this one back here? I think this one had a leveling kit. I thought these, maybe it was the other two. Uh, yeah, these have a leveling kit, factory wheels, and an alignment is what these got. So. Too shabby. Remember when I said I got a contract that was gonna save my business? Well, here we are a couple years later, still moving these brand new trucks. We moved eight this week and uh, headed from Maryland down to South Carolina and Georgia. And uh, these are a little different. These don't have that many options on them, but I'm gonna, I'll go ahead and show you what they got. So the four that go to this dealership in Georgia all got the same thing. They got a leveling kit with factory wheels and tires. They got amp steps and a four wheel alignment. Now some of these, uh, I got one over here, let me walk over. So some of these we ship will get wheels and tires. Uh, this one just has factory running boards. They get leather seats installed on them if they don't have leather. I have been very thankful for this business because I used to work at this dealer uh, at this shop when I was about 18 years old and uh, now 14 years later I'm moving a lot of inventory for them. Well I did something I usually don't do or usually wouldn't do. Went and looked at a job of moving a tiny home. Um, it's not terribly big, it is wide, and it is tall, but it's not that big. In three quarters of a mile. Turn left on and um, I kind of wanted to make sure we could get it out because it's been there for a while. I don't want to make sure the trees are cut back and stuff like that. And uh, the owner of it, I think he got my number from my dad. But um, 
he said Larry, and Larry's my dad, and that's pretty much any Larry I know. Uh, or one other guy. But anyways, I uh, I kind of wanted to survey it. He wasn't ready to move it yet. We set a date. He's got a couple other things he wants to move. Maybe if I bring back another trailer, we'll move like his deck and his water tank. Kind of just lives off the grid. It's kind of nice. And uh, he's moved, just moving to a different location. It's about 30, 30 couple miles. Um, but I'll have to see which way is best for us to go for it. That's usually not something I would do or be interested in, but um, I think I'm gonna take on this job. So between the time spent running up there, it's about an hour and 15 minutes each way, running up there today, and then, uh, let's see, I'm trying to get my dates right. I think it's next Friday. Today would be Wednesday. I think it's next Friday we're gonna plan on moving it. He's gonna have everything disconnected, pretty much just got to hook up and go uh, on Friday. Everything else can be either left behind to, for us to come back at a later date. Just needs to get his tiny home there so he has something to live in. That's lives in his tiny home. Um, and uh, I'm gonna just get home, look at the route, and see what what all I'm gonna need to do um, as far as permit wise and things like that because even though it's only like 30 40 miles i'm not the type of person that just wants to risk it like you see those people moving mobile homes with u-hauls all the time like double wides or single wides they end up in a ditch and then it's like man i don't want to be that person and if something were to happen say i'm pulling this 15,000 pound tiny home and someone pulls out in front of me even though it's not my fault, it's still come, gonna be coming back on me to be a fiasco. Like it doesn't matter. I'm like I'm working for hire. It's gonna be a fiasco. So I just want to cover my butt. So kind of wanted to go up, look at it, talk about it, tell him what I thought. Like all their life is in this thing, so they gotta like. I'm just like, this is what you should probably pack up. We'll strap the fridge. Uh, like. We'll ratchet strap the fridge. There's put a strap around so it can't go anywhere. We'll make sure it stays shut. We'll take all this stuff down. You put them in boxes. We'll just set them on the floor. You know, stuff that's kind of fragile, like in the loft, on the mattress, in boxes. So like the mattress will absorb some of the impact going down the road, and we won't have a problem. So. Uh, he's gonna cut down a couple limbs and a couple trees that have just grown over the time he's been there I think he says he's been there like eight years So there's like a handful of limbs that are gonna hit coming out It's on this Back on this property like it kind of snakes back, but it's not like real sharp turns uh, So I think it's gonna be a moneymaker for me. Like I said usually not something I do but I mean it, in reality, running up today and then doing going up on the day we move it, be making like a hundred dollars an hour with very, very little fuel. So it's it's not a bad gig. Yeah, look at that beautiful scenery this morning. We are headed west on Interstate 68 up to Western Maryland. Woo! Bridge is a little rough. I am on a rescue mission this morning. There's a driver that is stranded up here under a load. He is um, right at the pilot off 68, which is a pilot I, the exit I get off when I go, when we go to Deep Creek Lake. We're going to the lake this weekend. I don't know if you can see in the bed of my truck, I got water, I got the dog crate. Making sure the dog crate's still back there. Um, we are headed up there for the weekend. And today's Friday, yesterday was the 4th of July. We didn't come up yesterday, but coming up today. And uh, this guy's guy stuck under a load. It's gotta go about 30 miles. And uh, <clears throat> I decided to drive separate, leave early this morning, help this guy out, make a few bucks, 
and because uh, he's not going to find any other real help out this way. I mean, this is Western Maryland, middle of nowhere, and uh, seems like he's having some issues with his truck. It's at a coming shop right now up here, so I, I don't know the extent of it. He's going to meet me there. I guess his truck and trailer are at this shop. He's gonna meet me there. He's staying. I'm guessing probably like the Comfort Inn. That's like a couple miles away. I think that's the only hotel that's right off that exit. So he's gonna meet me over there. I'm gonna hook to his trailer. Gonna make the delivery. It's tarped, and uh, I'm not sure exactly what it is. It's it's not a real big trailer. It's not a real big load. Uh, so. The roads are a little wet here right now. It's got two stops. They're like, they're two different buildings. It's like 30 miles total. One's like 14 miles, one's like 16 miles. Uh, same company. I've been, I think they do like hardwood products or something. I, I've been by their, like, their facility before. Um, and I've seen it. I, I recognize the name of the company. So, uh, I don't know if I, after I deliver the first one, if I'm going to retorp everything. Like I said, if the roads are dry, which they may be, like right now it's just like they're moist and there's nothing coming up off the tires. So, I may not retorp the whole thing or I just got to look at the bill lading and see, uh, see how much goes to each location. So, we'll see. But, again, this is something I usually don't do, but... In this situation, I'm coming up here anyways. Me driving Police separate isn't terrible because I left early this morning. Uh, I left at five and uh, my wife and our son just got up at 6.45. So they're gonna go ahead and load up and head up and I'm just gonna meet them up here. Cause we got a bunch of family up here this weekend. So make a couple bucks, help somebody out. What can I do? Really just, uh, it was posted on Facebook in one of the groups, and then I was tagged by somebody, and then the guy reached out to me and, you know, said, he kind of said what he could pay, what he was willing to pay, and I was like, okay, I'll work with that, you know. It pays for more than enough fuel, pretty much base for my weekend, all my weekend expenses. And we'll have food, beer. So, oh well. Help him out is mainly what I'm more worried about. Because it doesn't look like his truck's going to be fixed. And it was weird because today's Friday. They were closed yesterday for the 4th of July. He broke down on Wednesday at about lunchtime. And he was looking for somebody to come up on Wednesday. And I was like, if you find somebody, great. I can't be up there and then deliver by five. So if it can wait till Wednesday, I mean, if it can wait till Friday, cause they're gonna be closed Thursday, just let me know. And they messaged me and said, let's just plan on Friday. And uh, I don't know how far they came with this load. So they may be just trying to get it done so they can get it factored and get it paid for. Well, we made it. I don't know, I'll show you the best in a second. This rub rail seen better days. This trailer has probably seen better days. But take a look at this truck. Unbelievable. And it gets better. Well, getting unloaded for this guy. This is why it's hard to want to help anybody. This trailer has almost zero brakes. He was loaded with probably about 11,000 11, pounds of product on here. Made him switch out that tire. Now I'm here waiting to get unloaded. He followed. He's out there working, so I don't have to do any of that. I'm just 
pretty much the show fur of this trailer but this is why I hate helping people sometimes because none of their equipment is up to any standard don't get me wrong there's sometimes I stretch stuff to try to get home but these guys are not just trying to get home they're out on the road and he didn't even want to do anything with that tire this morning and I was like it's got to be done or I'm not pulling it so thankfully I had a good spare he's got another spare tucked in there but it was flat so thankfully we had one good one but good someone drove to work today street legal here I guess If uh, all goes well, I'm going to have me a four-seater one of them in, uh, in just a few days. Well, drop the trailer back off where I got it from. And just a, uh, I don't know, a 20-minute drive. And we have made it to heaven on earth. So I hope everybody has a good 4th of July. We're spending the 5th, the 6th, the 7th, and maybe the 8th up here. 8th is our son's birthday, so I'm not sure what we're doing, but... I don't have any plans, so 